Hello and welcome to the Sonar Light Extension tutorial. Today we are going to give you a guided walkthrough of the extension as well as give you a few tips that we've learned over the years to help improve your network and website performance. Sonar Light is an in-browser network troubleshooting and web performance monitoring tool. After years of debugging and optimizing our own network, we decided to take the tools that have helped us and put them all together into an easy to use extension. First, we're going to show you how to add the extension to your browser. Please click on the link in the video description, which will take you to the Chrome Web Store. Click the Add to Chrome button, and you'll be prompted to add the extension to your browser. Click Add Extension. To start using the RUM tool, you're going to come over here and click on the sonar light icon and open the extension. Now currently we don't have any browsing data, so what we need to do is visit different websites in order to gain information. Now you can see that this website took 0.29 seconds to load. If you click on the icon, you'll see a stacked bar chart that explains the different load times and requests required to load the web page. There are a couple different things you can do with this tool. For example, you can compare the load times across two different domains or more, or you can compare different web pages within a domain. You can do this by clicking on the browser, clicking on the website, and then here you can compare the different load times. If you want to see a more detailed lookup, click on the page load, and you'll see that same bar chart. Now you can hover over it and see the different timings. If you scroll down, you can click on Show Raw Data to view all of the information used to create the stack bar chart. And if you want to clear this history for this particular page in this domain, click the button below. However, if you want to delete your entire browsing history, return back to the main menu and click Clear Browsing History. When you're going through your website and trying to find ways to cut down on load times, we recommend looking at decreasing the number of requests, minimizing your CSS and JavaScript, and looking towards using a CDN. This will drastically cut down on your load times. If you want to learn more about the different requests that we're looking at and look at our extensive documentation on how we calculate these waterfall checks, we advise that you look at our help site at help.constellix.com and look at the documentation on the SonarLight extension page. Now we're going to talk about the troubleshoot tool. Enter your domain name and pick a monitoring node. We recommend using your location or trying to find the location nearest your query and client that you're trying to troubleshoot for. And all you have to do is follow the directions and we'll guide you through each step. This troubleshooting wizard is designed to guide you step by step through the debugging process and steer you towards the right way to resolve the issue. We've consolidated all the tools our network engineers have been using for years into one lightweight extension to streamline the troubleshooting process. If you reach the end of the wizard and you still have not found a solution to your problem, we recommend continuing on to our Tools tab where you will be able to run detailed trace routes and find out exactly where the problem is coming from. The Tools section and the Troubleshoot section are both available in browser form by clicking on the button in the top right hand corner. The Sonar Lite Tools section contains all the same tools that you've known and loved from the Sonar Lite mobile app. We recommend that you begin with a trace route. A trace route is a log of all the hops between your location and your desired domains. You can view the time between each hop and all the IPs that your query will hit between you and the desired domain. This is the best way to troubleshoot as it shows you every single thing between you and what you're trying to access. And it will show you if there's any latencies. You can also use a DNS lookup which allows you to see from the vantage point of your end users. You can verify connectivity and troubleshoot any latencies within your network. You can even verify the performance of your CDN service from dozens of monitoring nodes around the world. If you want to see the exact path that your query is taking from root server to the name servers, use a DNS trace. SonarLite will follow the path of your query from the time it takes the packets to travel between each point from root server to TLD to NS lookup. You can also monitor your server using a TCP or transmission control protocol check and see how your server is performing for speed and efficiency. You can customize by location from dozens of points within the Constellix monitoring network. You can also run an HTTP or HTTPS check. 
This allows you to verify if your web server is up and running from all of our monitoring points around the world. If it is responding properly, it will return a 200 status code. You can also run a who has check. You'll notice that a lot of these are similar to what is in the wizard. If you just want to do a quick check of information about a domain but you don't want to run through the entire wizard, this is the best place to do it. The WHOIS will tell you publicly listed information about your domain registrar, the assigned name service of the registrar, registration date, expiration date, the domain owner, if it has been suspended by the registrar. We also offer two new features, such as a GeoIP lookup, which tells you the geographical location of the IP address, and delegated name servers, which tells you the name servers that are assigned at the registrar for your domain. Thank you again for watching, and for more tutorials and documentation on the extension, please visit our help site at help.constellix.com.